Hi, today we're going to learn how to use NZ Grapher to do the graphs that we need for the 1.10 Achievement Standard Multivariate Data. So to start off, we need to uh, download our data so that we can then upload it into the NZ Grapher program. So for us, uh, here we go to our classroom where our data will be stored. I'm just going to show you how to do it for our practice assessment. So you go into the classroom where your data is. Mine is in our classwork under week nine. And it's this one here. So this is our data. So what you do is you click on the data set and it'll open it up in here. We need to download it. So to download it, you need to go to the top right corner where the three dots are and open this in a new window. When it's open a new window, you need to click either the download button, which will be up here for most people. I don't have it, so I go in here for more actions and download. It'll automatically download into your downloads folder so that it can then be uploaded. So now we need to go into the computer program. So if you go into Google and just type in NZ Grapher, it should just be the first one that comes up. So you click on that. We're going to start using NZ Grapher. It comes up with um, just a, a practiced data set that you can use, um, but we have a specific one that we need for our assessment. So to get that, you need to click on the top left uh, corner data, and we're going to open a file. Okay, it should automatically come into your downloads uh, folder. However, if not, you go into this PC and downloads, and it should just be the top thing that you have downloaded. So it's this one here and then you click open. It will automatically pop it up into our data set here. So what we need to do first is we select our graph type, which is dot plot and box and whisker. For this assessment, we will need one numerical variable, which involves numbers, and one categorical piece of variable, which is uh, something that has two groups. So just for this one, I'm just gonna do the duration or how long the movies are in minutes. And for my categorical or my groups, I'm going to choose genre because we have either action and adventure or comedy movies. So once I've done all those, I then come here to the check boxes. So the first thing we need is our summary statistics. So that includes our minimum, our maximum, and more importantly, our medians, which we need for this one. We are going to select high box plot a little bit further down and it pops the box plots just a bit higher than our dot plots to keep them nice and clear. The last thing we have to have on our graphs is the DBM, difference between the medians, and the OVS, the overall visual spread. So you click on that and it shows you the visual of it. If you click on numbers just below that, it then tells you the actual difference between the medians and the overall spread of our data. This is all you have to have. However, there are two more things that are really good to have. It makes it a little bit tidier. So one is closer down to the bottom, which is called stack dots. And it just makes all these dots stack a bit nicer on top of each other. There we go. And the last one, which is really good when you're doing your analysis um, and talking about the shape of your dot plots is this one here, shape outline and it draws a curve sort of over our data and it just helps us discuss that a little bit better. So those are all the checkbox things that you need. The last thing we need now is to change our graph title. So when I do my graph title, I always talk about the numerical variable first, which in our case is the duration. And then we're going to compare it for our two groups, the duration of action slash adventure movies. And I'm going to verse because it's comparing it to my other one, which in this case is comedy movies. Now it doesn't automatically update. So down the bottom right corner here is update graph. And you can see my title is now up there. We now have a completed graph and we can right click anywhere on uh, the actual graph picture and press copy image. We then need to paste it to wherever you're doing your assessment. So for us, just going to go back to my folder. It is this one here. So the 1.10 structured practice. And you're going to go down 
to where it says data and that is where you paste your graph. So just press control V and it'll come in here. That's how you do the graph, an NZ grapher for the 1.10 multivariate achievement standard.